Once we get offers on your home is when the fun begins. It can be stressful if you don't receive the amount you were hoping for, but don't worry. That's why you hire a good negotiator like myself. Hi, I'm Shelly Stone with eXp Realty. Knowing how to properly negotiate on your behalf is essential, not only to getting you the most amount of money for your home, but also on negotiating the best terms. Once we receive offers on your home, there are a few essential components that need to be done prior to meeting with you to discuss the offers. We vet all of the buyers by calling the agent and lender and making sure that the buyer is truly qualified. We verify funds, ask critical questions, find out about how motivated and in love with the property the buyer is and so on. During this process, we are also getting to learn about the buyer's agent and lender to see how much experience they have, if they've properly educated the buyer and to get an idea as to how they're going to be to work with. Believe it or not, the buyer's agent is just as important to ensuring the deal will close as the buyer's qualification. After vetting the buyer, their realtor and lender, then we meet with you to discuss the offer and review terms. We will give you our advice on the offers in regards to the pros and cons of each, but ultimately, you will make the decision as to which offers to take and which to counter. Now, if we have more than one offer, there is another process that we go through. We give an offer deadline date, and then we do a counter offer on all the other offers requesting them to give us their highest and best offer. Once we have those, we meet with you to discuss which of those offers you would like to counter. Generally, this gives us an opportunity to get a higher price for the buyer and better terms for you because we are picking from the cream of the crop, so to speak. At this time, the buyers can choose to accept our terms or to counter us back. You have the opportunity to choose which offer you would like to take at this time. And again, we will advise you as to the pros and cons. Once we come to terms, we will execute the contract and enter the option period. Watch the next video to see what happens now and what to expect regarding timelines, etc. Understand that in most cases, if you are dealing with a loan, the average time frame is to close on a home is about 30 days, give or take. If you're dealing with cash, you can close in as little as three days, but seven days is more realistic. As always, I'm Shelly Stone, and I invite you to experience the difference.